The music's really good though, right? I'm gonna be honest, I kinda like uh, Hanya more than the other characters they showed off. Who who seems really good in terms of like her abilities, but I still think I'm content. She does seem kind of OP though, because any any abundance character that gives you energy regen for your team comp, which she does, and not only for one character, but every single character, it's obviously gonna be busted, right? She provides healing, she provides energy. It's obviously OP, right? But she can provide uh, splash heal and energy for the team comp. Probably pair her with Ting Yun and you got a lot of energy, right? Bouncing around for like whatever main DPS unit you want. Yeah, pretty much. Your main DPS unit is going to be eating good with uh, Hu Hu and Ting Yun in the same team comp. She, so she's the five star abundance win character. Argenti. Argenti is a physical abund or a physical erudition character. Does attacks to all enemies with this skill. And his ultimate, a unique aspect that we haven't seen in Honkai Star Earl yet, but he's able to actually decide how much energy he uses for his ults, I guess. Sounds kind of weird and interesting at the same time. And depending on how much energy you end up using, will determine the damage dealt for the ultimate. So it seems cool, I guess. But he looks flashy. His music was nice. He looks elegant. I'm going to skip, unfortunately. Don't hate me. Hanya is the one that I'm most interested in at the moment, mainly because she increases speed and attack for your ally, whichever character you want. Uh, she places the curse mark on the enemy and... The enemy who has that curse mark is taking increased damage, as well as if you attack that enemy a numerous amount of times, you recover a skill point. Pretty good for my hunt character, Su Shang, or any hunt character out there, I would say. So yes, I think Hanya is going to be great. I'm definitely looking forward uh, for her, and she's a four star as well, so she should be easy to get Eidolons for, hopefully. Definitely looking forward to that. Zila rerun is coming back. We all know what Zila does, right? She places bugs, you know put a weakness on the enemy etc stuff like that seems great but did i say zila sw my bad sw 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 light cone ability stay tuned so they're not gonna give us anything i will say i got baited they so this is a free four star light cone coming to honkai star Earl version 1.5 it has when i fit in the splash art with you know Hoo hoo in the background. I thought this was gonna be a Gwenife and Light Cone after I got baited by Subscribe for More, who also has her in the Light Cone. No, it's an Abundance Light Cone. It's it, it's Abundance. So that's two Light Cones that has Gwenife in, in like 80% of the Light Cone, the main character in it pretty much, and it's it's not even for her. So this is a continuation Trailblaze quest as well. Shuei's in the background. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then we have our Genti companion quest. So only one companion quest this time. A continuation Trailblaze quest. Not too much quests going on on this update, unfortunately. And the exciting stuff for me is going to happen on the second half because that's when I actually get to get the character. Hanya. Uh, we do have events here. Let me see. I think this is kind of like the Su Shang event we had a long time ago in the Luafu, the building event, but this is a little different. This is more catered around who? Uh, Ten Lords Commission, stuff like that. You do get the Tracks of Destiny, Light Cone, etc. Stellar Shadow Seeker. I wonder. Pff, so there, it's basically a who's that Pokemon kind of thing, right? I wonder who that is. <laughs> Definitely not a Pom Pom. Surely not. So this is a guess who's that Pokemon event. I think this will be cute and fun to do, right? A little fun event. Boulder Town Marshall ex Exhibition. And then I didn't think that they were going to do a Gift of Odyssey. It's a 10 pole. I made a tweet about it. I was like, surely they keep doing it, right? Because <laughs> I was like, we're already at the six month mark. I'm pretty sure they're going to stop by now. But no, they're going to continue to spoil us. Give us another 10 pole. Why not? We go again, boys, you know? Free to plays are eating good. We got a double Sim Universe drop, which is good because we have a new Sim Universe World 8 coming out with new drops. So this is going to give you a good boost and a head start on that event, as well as a double Garden of Plenty for uh, XP, traces, etc. Stuff like that. So it's going to be the Golden and the Crimson Calyx, respectively. And I think that's pretty much it. We got World 8 here. They basically showed it off. Yan Ching, I guess, is in World 8. Yeah, Yan Ching. Yan Ching is the final fight. Three phase. 
so yeah pretty cool world a the firmament frontline the damage boosting set that requires high speed and the other land of dreams is a support set they give us very vague descriptions here unfortunately so that's all i can work on and then they got the new area as well and i think that's pretty much it they got the new area oh new cavern of corrosion new cavern of corrosion relics as well the stagnant shadow for hanya physical a guest book as well so you can see how many times a character has visited your world and i guess new consumables and a reset a quick reset for the forgotten holes which is really good because if you're on the second half for forgotten holes for example and you ended up failing only the second half you can restart the second half and first half will still be cleared you don't have to worry about it and be like oh dang it my main dps died i blundered i have to start all the way back over first half and perfect that again no you can restart from the second half where you left off at so it's pretty good for those who are doing forgotten hall memory of chaos etc uh quick restart really great there that's a good feature for sure i don't think i'll make use of the other ones too much i don't really cook and uh guest book is whatever but oh wait no 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 they did they did so prisoner in deep confinement it's a set that characters who deal dot damage so prisoner in deep is going to be for dot teams so i guess kafka kafka artifact and then we also have a set that characters who deal fall follow-up damage ash blazing grand duke a set that suits characters who deal follow-up damage topaz just got released jing yuan himeko ching shui herda this is literally an artifact set for them <laughs> jing yuan mains where are you at we are eating good today kafka mains as well i guess why not we are eating good who said jing yuan was dead i'm gonna say it right now chat if you didn't want jing yuan during his worst you don't deserve him when he's at his best okay and with this artifact set i can call i can confidently say he is gonna be at his best now he is gonna go from trash tier to god tier i already think he's god tier right now at least my jing yuan you know the way i build him he's pretty good but still hopefully this artifact set does make him uh <clears throat> better i'll say not good because he's already good but better i'm looking forward to this i'm down i'll take that put that on the toe pass put that on uh jing yuan hell yeah man hell yeah see i told you rolling for toe pass was a future proof investment honkai starl is giving some love to follow up damage type type characters i told you i told you invest in the toe pass sick dude damn i'm looking forward to that okay we'll take it we'll take it so i guess i'm looking forward to that too then i am i'm looking forward to farming uh farming this for um jing yuan and i guess we can farm for kafka too we're focusing on her anyways that is basically it that's the recap for version 1.5 honkai Starro. let me know your thoughts again down below let me know what you're most excited for as well which character you're looking forward to if you're skipping 1.5 or if you're rolling 1.6 don't forget ruan may dr ratio we got some characters coming out all right we got some interesting characters coming out i am going to be skipping 1.5 going only for hanya and that's pretty much it saving my stellar jades uh but let me know your thoughts down below interesting update and uh i think that's it that's it